Hey, hey, hey guys, it's good to see you back on this YouTube channel and it's always good to see you back on this YouTube channel and especially on this day. So, in today's episode we will have, um, again, a um, video about GPO BS modding, about the AMD RX uh, 5600 BS modding. Um, you know, many people are afraid to buy a smart GPUs and it's and they, 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 they are afraid because they might break the card and not gonna get back uh working and they don't know how to get working so i i gonna go in more details you know and we of course we're gonna use high high os for bs modding which is very easy to use to be a smart um navi gpus and um yeah this will sort the problem for people who is afraid to buy a smart uh the the gpu bios just in case they break them because the latest cards you know comes with a locked bios where the uh, bios mod tools from Igor's lab really doesn't work and it breaks the bios and as soon as you upload the bios the card seems to be dead um, so yeah we're gonna go in that details and uh, thanks for everyone uh, for the previous video who uh, was hitting the like button we were trying to get up 500 likes uh, we were a little bit short so I think we need to reorganize and hit this with a, a bigger force so hit that like button now and uh, let's get started so in this video for testing purposes um, I have a GPU RX 5600 uh, mining rig it is actually uh, eight of these here uh, Sapphire Pulse RX 5600 XT uh, graphics cards but you can see in the um, a high OS uh, a panel um, it shows that one one GPU is MSI and the rest of them is power color actually they are not they are just different bias from different GPUs so many of you probably know red panda mining um, YouTube channel um, he has a lot of stuff about mining so his channel link will be down in video description if you if you still haven't seen him and you want to check it out so he had this uh, bios mod uh, for the rx 5600 xt um, msi on his rigs so actually you know the, the everyone everyone is thinking that you know you cannot modify the rx 5600 xt cars it seems like the older you know the first gpus who came out with the old biases uh, you were possible to edit the timings and also modify um yeah modify the timings for the gpu which increases the mining speed these were the gpus with the silent bioses you know after that amd had upgraded the bios you know to more performance and actually the biases were locked um so these are the bioses which basically uh we're doing um you know some of the rx 5600 gpus were doing uh 39 mega, mega hash 40 mega hash max so now it's possible to modify these and <coughs> excuse me now it's possible to modify these timings and increase performance for mining uh, ethereum and uh, the funny thing is that you can also upload a different brand gpu different memory gpu bios on a different card and it will be working just fine so what you can see here i have the couple different bios for um, RX 5600 it seems they are working equally fine they are um, getting about the same hash rate they are probably getting about the same power usage and uh, one is from Red Panda Mining YouTube channel which is the MSI uh, RX 5600 GPU BIOS and the other one is I found uh, another YouTube channel Russian YouTube channel where I got this BIOS but I forgot the name uh, of the YouTube channel so I can't point you to that YouTube channel but yeah it doesn't matter you know we have the bias of the power color uh, GPU and I actually have uploaded these on the um, Sapphire Pulse the graphics cards and you see that rig was hashing uh, perfectly for last a uh, last day or so yeah yeah so work 24 hours and the the bias is tested and it's working fine so I'm gonna show you now let's go to the mining rig I will show you now uh, you know if you just in case you know you, if you are uploading a BIOS which will break your GPU how to get it back uh, on a high OS you know if you are afraid to put 
a different GPU BIOS on your 5600 um, graphics card BIOS. And also I will include the, both of the BIOS uh, down in the video description where you can download and try it, try it out yourself. So yeah, okay, you can see here that I have the um, mining rig, what I was talking about. They have the 8 RX 5600 XT uh, Sapphire Pulse GPUs. And I'm using them on a high OS in a closed case. They, the fans are removed on this just because the um, cooling on this case without the fans is a little bit better. Um, so I will show you now it, what happens if you put a different BIOS on the graphics card, uh, how to get it back uh, in the high OS. You know, sometimes the rigs doesn't boot uh, when you put on the, the a different BIOS which breaks the graphics card. Uh, but you can fix that uh, without turning off the uh, loading drivers on the boot. So I will show you now. Um, so let's boot this rig on. So you can see the fans start spinning. Um, I hope the noise is not going to bother to you. So um, for example, like, you know, to mod BIOS on such kind of GPU, uh, which do have uh, uh, two BIOSes, so um, it's very easy. So it's nothing to be afraid of totally. So basically, you know, if you break one BIOS um, and you're afraid something, the car not turning on, so just before you booting on the mining rig, uh, turn the BIOS to the second BIOS, so the BIOS switch. So it's, for example, it's uh, sitting to the right and sitting to now turn to the back and boot the, boot the mining rig. So when the mining rig is booted, turn the BIOS switch back to uh, the BIOS which is bricked and then upload um, the original BIOS or a different BIOS, what you need, which is working. And then reboot the, reboot the system and the car, card will be working again. Um, so this rig now is booted and uh, uh, it is mining Ethereum. So, we, so I just type here uh, miner and you can see it's uh, exactly the same miner which I showed you in the panel. It uses currently the power. The power usage from the wall is uh, roughly 940 watts. I know it's I know it's on the high side. I see many um, like Red Panda mining was using about roughly 80 watts per card. Uh, but this, this is also due to the high efficient um, fans on this case and also the um, cheap version of the Chinese power supply, which is using more power uh, when you are uh, mining. And the, the case with the case fans actually uses roughly 120, 130 watts um, from the wall. So I'll put this down here now. <coughs> okay, so you can see the rig. What I'm gonna do now is I will upload a BIOS from RX 5700 GPU on this graphics card and I'll show you what ha what, what's going to happen. Uh, so I'm pressing the wrong button. So flash BIOS, choose, and you can see that I have here RX 5700 Micron BIOS uh, from a power color GPU. Uh, flash, upload. Okay, so I will upload the BIOS and uh, I will I will reboot the mining rig. So you can see now we are hashing at 43 mega hash. Uh, you can see the room flashing is okay. Now reboot, let's reboot the system. Actually, this BIOS didn't break the system totally, um, so it doesn't turn on. You can see that it's still turning on, but some of the 
when I upload some of the different biases, you know, it breaks totally the, the, the whole system is not turning on. But you can see that it's getting a lot of error messages that the BIOS is not reading, uh, room file is not reading properly. So I type in minor and we will see that minor won't be starting for this GPU. Actually, this kind of error is quite easy to fix. You can now go back in the, the um, um, Hive OS and you can just, you know, flash BIOS and you can flash just the uh, uh, back of the all BIOS on this uh, GPU. I actually need to download um, download BIOS from GPU number two. So overclocking flash, not flash. I need to download GPU one BIOS download. So I'll put this put this GPU one BIOS on GPU zero um, to actually get the back the system working. But uh, you know the other thing, you know, when the, the you know the high OS is not booting, so what you need to do is you need to um, click here the uh, screwdriver and what the other tool, you know, worker options, and you need to you know here's maintenance mode, and you need to enable it without loading drivers and apply. So what this is gonna do is so let's download this. Um, so what this is gonna do is basically when you're booting on the mining rigs, it's it's not gonna load the the drivers on the cards, and you know usually loading the drivers uh, is causing the crash of your system because you if you have a different BIOS it doesn't suit your graphics card and the system might crash. So I just reboot now and it will load without drivers but it, it will be still loading with this BIOS but you know I'm just saying in the case uh, where your system doesn't boot on at all uh, you just uh, you just uh, turn on disable this uh, driver boot so the next one is uh, flash the BIOS I need to flash back the uh, um, GPU number zero which is the uh, RX 5700 GPU BIOS. So upload, and you can see now here in the miner, you can see that you know it doesn't recognize what kind of cards you know are exactly because the drivers hasn't been loaded. They are all red, and they have this a a AMD ATI. Um, Um, they are they know that they are the navi cars but they don't know which of the cards is so because of the drivers so here on the top uh, i need to disable apply and then reboot the miner okay you see now the rig is rebooting properly So yeah, uploading BIOS is nothing to be afraid of, you know, uh, mining is all about efficiency, you know, you want to get your hardware uh, for mining as efficient because basically it's a competition between um, the miners, you know, who can do the most efficient, uh, who can uh, gather uh, the most rewards and do, you know, pay back his equipment the fastest, you know, who can get the cheaper power, who can do the uh, best speeds on the mining rigs you know it's it's all about it's all about competition you know it doesn't make that much of a difference you know in a, like a bull market when the mining is very profitable but it makes a lot of sense in you know when there is little very little rewards you know that little little gap uh between um you know the mining rig revenue and the power cost you know the gap between them you know that, that, that your pure profit it's very important when the profits are very low so it's most imp you know it's very important to mine as efficient as you can um so so miner and you can see all the gpus are now back hashing so yeah, it's it's easy as that, you know. It's nothing to be afraid of if you are thinking that you're gonna break your your GPU BIOS. And I know many people are, because you know I have spoken with many people, and 
uh, they were asking to modify all their BIOS so it's nothing to be afraid of yourself um, to do it yourself you know even if you, you you think you cannot you know edit the timings or something you can even download the BIOS uh, uh, like this you know from a different YouTube channels probably you have already noticed that Ethereum mining profits in the last couple of weeks has uh, a little bit decreased and I, I do believe that th this is due to uh, due to you know increased network hash rate and also um, the um, usage of the DeFi projects has dropped a little bit and this is reduced the gas fees the transactions fees on the Ethereum network which is also decreasing the uh, mining profits for the miners but I don't think you know DeFi is dead you know this new thing for Ethereum um, I think it's gonna come in waves I think it's the usage has cooled down a little bit because of the prices has dropped as soon as it will pick up again, you know, I, I expect the usage to return also uh, for this DeFi. You know, we, we have seen some rep reports from MetaMask. They now have uh, roughly 1 million monthly users, which is crazy. Uh, and they have grown so much just in the last few months. And I don't think it's going anywhere because... Um, you know, think about, you know, all the exchanges, you know, about the BitMEX, about the okay x uh you know uh basically you know you are trusting a third party where you can do exactly the same thing what you do on these exchanges with your metamask with your keys which is your funds um so yeah i think it's just a matter of time uh, till everyone starts using these um because there's a lot of liquidity uh, and the volumes are great uh, even for even for like uh, you know large whales uh, what they call them um, so yeah tell me in the comments down below what you think about um, Ethereum mining uh, I have, what, what BIOS do you use for uh, RX5600 have you tested this BIOS uh, do you see more uh, efficiency on your mining rigs um, otherwise that's it for me today um, hit that like button on the video share with your buddies if you found value um, otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Mind hardcore or don't mind at all. Bye.